I said this? <laughs> no. There's no way. Well, we're back. Back in California. I know back then I said I changed my mind. I was going to ride the border of California and Nevada to get up to Oregon. But <clears throat> I was just going to spend more gas to go out of my way in Nevada to get into Oregon instead of just cutting across part of California. <clears throat> so, so what I ended up doing, we got here two nights ago, place, <clears throat> I want to say it's Red, Red Rock Trail, Red Canyon Trail. I'll put it up here. Um, I'll look at it before I got up here and I completely forgot. But it's pretty nice. Yesterday, me and Harvey went out for a scouting expedition. And you can't really see it past this hill, over another hill, past another hill. It's only about half a mile or so from here. It's real steep. There's a hill uh, we picked out, the highest hill I can get to, and great view of this mountain here, there, and then on this side over here, you can see way past that, and it's just wide open, just like down here. Awesome view. <clears throat> I was gonna go there this morning, but it was just, it was too cold this morning. I, was, I wanted to go up there and get some sun sunrise photos. <clears throat> so the plan originally today was go up, get up at four in the morning, go up there, get the sunrise shots, and then hike back this evening to get some sunset shots because the sun setting down over there, awesome light on that. <clears throat> I got some, the night or two nights when we got here, I got some nice shots of it. It was snowing and the way the light was shining through that snow coming down onto the mountains, <clears throat> it was just really awesome. But I'm breathing heavy because this stuff is steep and it's also really really loose it just just like that all the way all the way up so <clears throat> well anyway i got got start a little later than i wanted so i can talk more up there i want to get up there and get situated i already got some compositions picked out from last night but i want to be able to get up there and relax so, so we'll see you up there Feels like this. This video is a bit rushed because it kind of is. <laughs> I got, like I said, this morning I woke up at four in the morning in order to get up here and take photographs of the sun sunrise coming up and hitting these mountains. But like I said, it was 14 degrees. There wasn't going to be any clouds in the sky, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. So I ended up. Got up, made some pancakes and coffee, and chocolate pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, and then just kind of relaxed and waited throughout the day. And then around noon, I decided I'll take a, I'll take a nap for a couple hours, and then we can get up and head out up this way. And I underestimated what it was like to get up here, and then especially with carrying bags, and so it was kind of a rush. <laughs> To make sure I get up here in time, but the sun's going down. The lights just is the lights just awesome. Um, I just got done shooting. Also, I got I got polarizer on. I'm really happy with the sky the way it's turning out this evening. But I've been shooting at f11. I just got done shooting. Uh, also, that mountain and I kind of did did two panoramas. One with it vertical. And they actually did a panorama with it horizontal. And so I only, only needed to take two photographs to get everything I wanted in. But down here in the foreground, it's a bit difficult to get a nice wide shot of everything. Because um, you got all these, all these little dead trees are just, they're everywhere. I'm not focused. But 
they're everywhere and just they're too cluttered to get in the shot so all these shots out here every shot is pretty much gonna be a long narrow like a 10 by 30 one one by three crop or something like that but this type of scene i mean this is i mean that's pretty much what it's going to call for anyway because like i said there's nothing really and it's too busy too much dead limbs and all that sticking i was moving this tripod all over the place trying to find a spot to take a photo but like i said that sun is <coughs> excuse me <coughs> sorry but one thing that interests me up here when i was up here yesterday down here you got you got the river there's like a river that runs through all the way through into the scene i mean it's kind of it's kind of small i don't know how much it's gonna be really come out in the photo and then also you got the main highway going up through there um so again we're gonna keep shooting that sun is just looking uh it's looking as good as i thought it was going to look actually maybe a little bit better and also in this valley if you can call it a valley you got the the light colored like grass in the distance those big patches of the sun's really lighting up real nice and then you got all the dark areas so that sun's really those light areas almost like glowing like goldish light so really liking it i'm gonna stop talking and get back to shooting still still getting some nice light from that sun it's just right now there's a darker cloud that's kind of gone in front of it so once that sun goes down a little bit more it'll cast a little bit more light i am crooked aren't i holy i've been running around like a madman trying to get these shots <clears throat> this light just changes light is awesome it just changes so often like right now like right now there's real nice light i can't i can't ever saw where i want to stand but just real nice light <clears throat> and off in the distance over there just a little bit ago when i was running around shooting these in the distance here they had some really nice light on them and these houses and things down there there's actually light that somehow broke over and hit some of them with those mountains in the background lit up. So I just took some of those photos. We'll see how those come out. Um, but my, honestly, the main subject is this big mountain in the foreground and this kind of this open area. I don't know how the ones with the open area is gonna really come out, but um, this main mountain is just really awesome. Um, mainly just shooting, right now I got my 24 to 70 that's mainly what i've been shooting with right now the 70 to 300 i use that on the long shot but it's just 24 to 70 is i mean the in order to do a panorama or whatever i can't really go much farther than a 70 if even going that that far out so 70 or less is working working out pretty good so probably keep that in the bag for the rest of the night but as you can see that change that light just keeps changing on and off so again i'm gonna continue shooting wait a little bit and just see what we can get forgot my headlamp i was such in a hurry earlier to get out of there i was just all over the place and forgot my headlamp so luckily i have like three quarters of a mile I'm trying to get i'm not Luckily, I only have three quarters of a mile to walk, so if I have to use light, I got my cell phone. So, but anyway, let's go back to shooting.
We're getting close to the end. That sun's finally got down below that real dark cloud over there. And the light shining on this mountain is just... I've already snapped. I don't know how many photos of it. I've done a... I flipped the portrait. Flipped the camera portrait style. And did a kind of a panorama of just this mountain. Because the other night when I first got here, <clears throat> the mountains off in the distance, um, that first night when that sun went down, it was shining those those mountains off in the distance real nice. But I guess there's just too much bigger clouds right now in front of them to get any light on them. So, But this mountain right here is just lighting up nicely. So I think one of my favorite shots of things is going to be is I think it was right around seven millimeter kind of zoomed all the way in just a landscape photo and you got that hill in the front and it kind of leads into the mountain there's a nice line of hills that lead right into that mountain and it's just lit so nicely and I'm really liking it and I'm just gonna keep taking photos of it because never know one might be a little bit better then also even this the rest of the scene over to the right that kind of like the valley or is it it's just kind of dark right now I mean and there's no light really on those I mean, you can still photograph I'm sure you can get a good photo but um, but the areas at the base of this mountain that I'm shooting now all those light areas that that sun's light just lighting those up real nicely too as long with the different areas on the mountains itself so we are going to continue to shoot i mean this is we have 100 100 images of this one mountain what but that's one <laughs> side I think we're we're about done with that there's still light shining on it but the sun's starting to go down below those other mountains really don't think it's going to cast any light on those over there but back here shooting into Nevada because I've been shooting towards California but nice light on these mountains here I threw my 7300 in on just kind of got a nice tight shot of those snow caps with the nice 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 light shine on it might might actually get another one real quick <clears throat> i'm shooting that i only got the polarizer on there's not much not too much detail in the sky where i'm shooting into Ooh, that's really nice oh wow f11 25th of a second iso 100 i think that's gonna be a shot oh yeah Hope you like that one. I will. Oh man, that's this turned out it's cold out, but we're getting some nice shots. I'm looking for this. I want to take some more photographs of this as long as there's light on it. And then we'll probably end up packing up and heading down. Apologize for not haven't really gone through everything step by step, but it's like I said, it is what it is. I was running late and there's just so much. The light was just changing so so quick as usual. But I'm really looking forward to these, so when I, I'll get all packed up and I'll get back with you either before or once I get down to the truck. So, see you then. I think I'm just going to end it up here before I head down because once I get down there there's not much 
not much do except get warm. But to be honest, I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out because <laughs> it feels like I've just been rushing and just it is what it is. I don't even know what I got for shots. Like I said it was just tiring coming up here. Yesterday when I came up here, it was actually right down here when I was trying to come across that hill with the snow, pretty much right, about right where I'm standing almost. I looked up and apparently there was like about five or six mountain sheet that cook off, took off down that way. So, I like, oh, that was cool. I didn't even see them until they blended right in with those rocks. But, like I said earlier, we're back in California. When I leave here in a few days, when we got a couple hundred miles to Oregon from here, so I probably won't even have to get gas in California. That was a big reason I was miss skipping it. But there's still still shots we had. I mean, the sky is looking gorgeous up here. No real light shining on the mountains, but I don't even think that would matter. But it's just starting to the temperatures already dropped like 10, 15 degrees <laughs> in the last 20 minutes. Hard as well. I had enough of it. I'm cold. I'm very happy what we what we captured tonight. I wasn't really expecting that peak back there to light up like it did, but that that came out real nice and definitely got one, two, or three nice, very nice shots of this mountain. So all in all, great night. If it was in the middle of winter, but if it was in winter, we wouldn't have snow on the mountains. But we could camp out here. Camp out up here. See, it's so cold I can't even move my lips, my mouth. <laughs> can't make words. <laughs> but, yeah, if it was summer or something, I would just camp out up here. Nice flat, flattish area. But this is just, this is just gorgeous. I'm very glad I came up. Sorry if the video is kind of like all over the place. I'll edit this I can so it's not. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe this won't be my weekly one. I'll just throw this out there in the middle. But either way, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy the photos. I think I really am. That sky is looking awesome. I'm sorry. I get sidetracked. I already packed everything up. It's cold. It's not going to be the first time. Won't be the last time I see stuff like that. But... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Would help me out. And until then, we'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. Oh crap! Didn't realize I was still recording.